Hello everyone, welcome back into this tutorial on Python. In today's tutorial we are going to see the one of the powerful function of for loop. We know that for loop is very um, uh, very useful function in Python programming but we can achieve most of the things using for loop and that is the one of the example we are going to see in today's tutorial. Before going to see the actual example, let's see how the for loop works. So when when the act, before actual execution of the for loop starts, it first goes to the checking condition mode. So very first check happen is what condition you are mentioned in the for loop. If the condition turns out as a true, then the logic will be executed. So what are the statements you are mentioned in the for loop block those will be executed and this execution of this logic will continue until the condition is satisfied for example if you are looping through number 1 to 10 it will loop through this logic for 10 times until all the iterations are not completed once the condition is once the condition satisfaction is complete that means there is no more condition left to satisfy or if the condition turns out as a false then the for loop will be exited so there is no more execution of logic this is a very simple diagram to explain that it starts the program then the condition checking will happen in the for loop if condition is true then logic will be executed and it will run into loop until the condition is satisfied. If the condition is false, then the loop will be exited or it will be completed. What we are going to see in today's tutorial is how can we use this for loop to determine exponent. What is exponent? For example, I, I have to create two raised to condition where I can use Suppose 2 raised to 5 it's or 2 raised to 2 that is square. How can we create a square? Let me do this. 2 raised to 2. So what is exponent? Exponent nothing but the number and some power to that number. For example, 2 raised to 5 or 2 raised to 2 we know that 2 raised to 2 is nothing but the square but how can we write a logic which will give us the exponent functionality means you can write any number you can use any power for a given number and get the output so if I write 2 raised to 5 it, it will multiply 2 as a power to 5 in order to write this function what we have to do is it's a very simple uh, as we are going to create a function you have to remember how to write a function in order to write function you have to use keyword def that is definition and then you can write any name so I will just mention get exponent now we are going to determine the exponent so that means we need a number for which we want to determine the exponent then we need the power how much power you want to get for in order to determine that exponential functionality once we write these functions so this is just definition function we have to write the logic to determine that what you have to write is let's create a variable called as a result and we'll assign the value 1 so this is just random variable you can create by using any name and here we are going to use the for loop so we have to use a for loop with suppose any given value or given variable I will just mention i as a variable for i as a value n we have to use the power because over the power we are going to iterate this loop suppose there is power is 3 we have to run this loop in 3 times if power is 5 we have to run this loop in 5 times so that's the reason we'll we'll write the over the uh, for loop over the power 
and the next is the logic the logic is very simple result equal to result into the number for which we want to determine the power so determining the power is not, uh, nothing but the multiplying the same number with itself suppose you, you want to determine the power of number 2 to 3 then it will be we have to multiply 2 into 2 into 2 so it will turn into the value as 8 on the same line we are going to do so the result what will happen in this example consider the example as a 2 raised to 3 so the number is 2 and the power is 3 so first time it will come power is the 3 so it will just index of the the i value will be 0 so the first time as a result is 1 so 1 and the value of num is 2 1 into 2 is 2 the, it will be stored in the variable result now the, it will go and increase this power to 1 by 1 and it will be having the value <coughs> i as 1 we don't have to value, worry about the value of i we have to see the how many loop we are going to do so this is the second loop so 2 we already stored value here into 2 so it will become a 4 and we are going to store into result so the value of result will be 4 now it will again increase and it will be i value will be become 2 because power has a value 3 so it can loop through the value 2 actual loops will be 3 but the value assigned to i will be 2 now this is the third loop which is the final loop we have the value to the result assigned as a 4 and the value of num is 2 so 4 into 2 will be 8 and that is the result of 2 raised to 3 and what we'll do so once we determine this result we have to just print this result how to print just print here and we'll see how it works or instead of printing here what we'll do just we'll just return the value or return the result and we'll call this function from outside that is the normal practice so just print suppose 2 and 3 so what I'll do I'll just use this function and I will pass the number as 2 and power as a 3 and I'll just remove this so we just wrote the program we just corrected instead of just power we'll use the range because that that is the function which uses the for loop functionality so we are using the range function and we are ready for execution so let's start and execute this program program and we'll see how it works so we can see the result come as out so 2 raised to 3 comes out if i use 3 raised to 3 it it should come as a 27 and that's correct if you have a huge number you can use that too so, so you want to power up 3 to 300 and you'll get this large number also so it's very simple uh, the logic it's you have to create a re result variable start from the value i uh, means you can create any variable there is no restriction you can just mention a b c also it will work the same way <coughs> then define the range and the range should be of power what are the power we have because that is the limit till which we want to run this loop and this loop will execute in this loop we are just assigning the result uh, variable by multiplying with its original number and this result will be written from this function now we can call this function by passing the values suppose i want to use 4 raised to 3 so let's see what is cube of 4 cube of 4 is 64 so this is very simple example and by using the for loop we can implement this functionality we don't have to write this exponent function the reason is um, the function is already provided with python we don't have to write explicitly and the function is very simple what you have to do is suppose i want to determine the cube of 4 you have to use 2 times asterisk and run it 
So that is the exponent function which is already available. So you can see the output of the first function which is v root is 64 and output of this example which is already present in Python. So you have to use 2 times asterisk. It will give the exponent. So we just learn how it's the internally handling. So if you want to determine power of phi, it is giving the same result. So as we just understand that the for loop is very powerful uh, loop function which iterate over the given range or the given uh, list of arrays a given list of or given collection or structure and we can write logic as per the re business requirement if you, have, if you want to learn more about the for loop or if you have any questions about this you can definitely mention in the comment section of this video you can also uh, have any suggestions or topics about Python for which uh, you are looking to learn for. Uh, you can mention those topics also in the comment section. You can visit my website also for more interesting updates about Python. Thank you for watching this video and have a nice time.